Hello, welcome to Tiny Automations. I'm Ryan, and in today's Tiny Automation, I'm going to go through conflict palettes on Keyboard Maestro. Now, a conflict palette is a tiny little menu that Keyboard Maestro pops up if you use the same trigger key or trigger event for different macros. Now, a conflict palette is just a tiny menu that Keyboard Maestro displays when you have the same hotkey trigger or whatever trigger really. So I've got one here, so you see that little menu? That happens because I've got the same trigger for all four of these macros. Let me show you how to create it then. I've got three Keyboard Maestro macros here. One that opens Tiny Automation's Twitter, one that opens Tiny Automation's YouTube channel, and one that opens tinyautomations.com. Currently they've not got triggers, but to create a conflict palette, we have to give them the same trigger. So if I click on hotkey trigger, and I'm gonna do the hyper key, which again is control, option, command, shift, but you can map it using carabiner elements or better touch tool. So hyper key T for this one, new trigger, hotkey trigger, hyper key T, this one, hotkey trigger, hyper key T. Now when I hit hyper key T, I'll get a palette, which is a tiny little menu. There you go. And then I can use the keyboard to trigger that. Now to make these easier to trigger, what we do, well what I do is I number them. So I want this one to be number one, this one to be number two, this one to be number three so when I hit the conflict palette trigger now I get them nicely numbered so if I hit number three that'll open the YouTube channel so that's it teeny tiny tiny automation today but I use this for all kind of things and I group everything so I've got my Jira's on like hyperkey J and anything to do with obsidian i like to do hyper key d and yeah i'd like to hear what you do with it and i'd like to hear what you'd like to see automated as well so hit me up at tiny automations i've been ryan this is tiny automations cheers